ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Nerf SPL Blaster. Just look at this mighty beast right here. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And just look at it. It just looks so cool. And I love it. I bought this for $27 on Amazon, and I have to say, it was definitely worth it. And you can't forget the iconic... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Here we go. Suppressor. You can't forget about that. You can't forget about the suppressor. So, uh, yeah, there's Nerf Fortnite weapons now. So yeah, so what I'm actually going to be comparing this to something else. Uh, I'm going to be comparing it to the other ones that came out, which were the micro shots. Except, it, instead of being like this, it looked like a llama instead. You know those ones? And there's also an RPG one of these and stuff like that. They're basically the same thing. They're just um, painted different and they look so I'm going to be comparing those two, and you can make your decision on which one you want to get. First things first, let's talk about the bullet clip. This thing shoots one bullet. That's it, before you have to reload. And then you also have to cock the gun when you do that. This thing, meanwhile, this thing has three bullets in here, and yes, you have to cock it every single time. So, this thing is up one zero. And now, um, what about power? This thing has two settings. If you put the suppressor on, it's not as powerful, but if you take it off, I found out that it's a little bit more powerful when you shoot it. So, I've also tested it against this in speed, and I just see this thing, like, zoom right past me. I can barely even see about this thing. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but compared to the other Nerf Fortnite weapons, it's not that good so it doesn't fire as fast I mean there are some knockoff ones I have I have a knockoff sniper and uh, it fires faster than that so I guess it's better than those so two nothing SPL blaster versus micro shot next I'm gonna be talking about the sights because you have to aim this this thing if you play PUBG like I do or did I don't anymore this is a Meridia red dot, and it's supposed to have a circle with a tiny dot in it, but sadly they didn't make that, but it still is really good, because you can see this, oh sorry, this tip right here, which helps you aim, so the sight is pretty good. Now let's talk about the micro shot. This thing doesn't have a sight, it's like, it's, it's it doesn't even have it's, this is its sight. That's it. it. This thing isn't up more than this, so when you're aiming it, you can't... It's like a flat surface, so you can't really tell that well. Oh, gosh. And, yeah, that's another thing. This thing fires really easily. Like, I dropped it. It fired. Yeah. And uh, I did this. It fired also. Well, this thing did not. So, I believe we are 3-0 to this. Uh, now comes stealth, because this thing is just supposed to be stealthy, right? Silent pistol, stealthy. But believe it or not, who wins in this battle? It's the micro shot. Yeah, the micro shot got one. Why did it win, you may ask? Well, the micro shot, well, it's simple. The micro shot can be easily concealed. You can, like, basically put it anywhere. Look at this. It's, like, the size of my hand. It's not really that big. Well, this, this is like the size of my arm. And, like, when you add the suppressor, which is supposed to be, um, which is supposed to be, um, make it even more stealthy and make it even more silent, it becomes even bigger then. So, and the suppressor, it doesn't work all that much. There still is some noise. I mean, the change, whether you take the suppressor on or off, it's much different. I prefer it suppressor off most of the time. 
Next thing is distance, which can fire faster. Uh, this one wins it, so it's four to one right now. Is there anything else? Oh yes. Um. So how easy is reloading? Well, let's say I did this. First of all, there's no bullets in the chamber. I have to get another one. If I don't have one, I have to go chase another one. Put it in the chamber, then turn it to the side, and then pull it. And then I can fire. And then, well, I also have to turn it back, because I don't want to be firing like this. Some people may argue, like, oh, you don't have to turn it to the side, but it's much easier, so, like, 99% of people would probably do that. So, yeah, which is kind of hard. This thing has three bullets in the chamber. So all you have to do is after you've shot, just pull this thing back. Like, let me show you. All you have to do is that, and then, yeah, fire again. So, and then, um, for reloading, all you have to do is open the clip, and then insert this. So, yeah, this thing wins again. I believe it's 5-1 right now. Okay, um, what about jamming or malfunctioning so, like, you can't fire the bullet? Surprisingly, this is kind of a tie because this thing jams way more than this thing. But what happens is the spring of this, sometimes if you shake it, if you haven't put it in too well, and it's, um, not in that well, it can sometimes shake loose and the bullet can either go out or come out far enough so it's like this, and then it won't really fire. Or it will, it just will fire two feet. And then that's about it. So that's kind of a die. I'm still going to keep that 5-1. Is there any other problems with these? Um, I think there might be with this one. Because uh, this one, as I mentioned before, it's really easy to press the trigger. It's really, like, it's so easy to press it. Like, I could, I, I could, like, drop it from, like, this much on my hand, take that out, and it would fire. Well, this thing, it probably would not. Oh. Yeah, so this is easy to fire, so you can accidentally fire this, like I just did right now. I wasn't even trying to do that. So, um, what about looks? Which looks cooler? For me, I saw the other micro shots, and this thing just looked cooler. I mean, this isn't really that big of a thing, but um, I, I just feel like this looks cooler. I don't know. But honestly, this thing beats it in stealth by a whole mile. Like, this is supposed to be a stealthy pistol, a suppressor. But no, you, you, it's not even that surprising, because it's for stealth, this thing is doesn't even make half as much noise. If this thing has a suppressor on, this thing barely made any noise. The only noise it made was when it would hit the ceiling. But if, but at the end of the day, this thing beats it in so many other things than this thing. That is just like, come on, this, this thing isn't even close to this. I mean, there is stuff, but that's about it. But now finally to end it off, is it better to use the suppressor or not use the suppressor for this thing? Since this thing already failed. So, let's go over something. Alright, so when you put the suppressor on, it doesn't fire as fast. I mean, just by a little bit. And it doesn't also go as far. That can actually be the deciding factor. Because you could be trying to shoot somebody from far away. In a nerf battle. So, yeah, that's one thing. And... How well is the suppressor? I already mentioned this already. Yeah, see, this doesn't really suppress it all that much. I mean, it makes a small difference if you're from far away, but then, yet again, you probably won't end up shooting him because of that. Well, if you take this out, it does make a bit more noise, yes. And can I just mention, this thing with the suppressor on is super heavy. I, My arm gets tired after, like, 25 seconds after holding it like this. Well, like this thing, I guess. So I, I'll give this two because it's much more lighter than this thing with the suppressor on. So it's much lighter using this because there's more extra weight on here. Even though this doesn't weigh that much, 
all the way to here, though mostly. But I still feel like there's a huge difference if you put this on. So, let's talk about it without this. Number one, shoot faster, shoot um, farther. Those are the two things. It does make slightly a bit more noise, but you can also move with it much easier. And uh, if you're thinking about that, oh, what um, what if you shoot it and it goes far enough so that the suppressor ball could... I even tried that. That You probably weren't thinking that, but I even tried that and it uh, didn't really work. Uh, I, the bullet escaped every single time. So, me personally, I like it without the suppressor. I don't know, I just... I don't, so, yeah, I guess. And one more question that I have... Okay, so let's say they made a Deagle version of this. You remember in the game, like, when this first came out, and then the Deagle came out, it's like, oh my god, the Deagle's huge! What would a Deagle be like? Like, it's, I know they made, like, a sport gun one, but what if they made one like this? You know, actual foam. So, yeah, at the end of the day, this thing beats Micro Shot, and it's better off without the suppressor, because the suppressor, it's not all that good, but... I will say that you could also use the suppressor. It's not that bad. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. All right, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. See you guys.